launched by NATO in August 2009 to combat piracy, particularly in the waters around the Horn of Africa, a high-risk area with 60 or 70 ships passing every day. Up until now, the Alliance has only used helicopters and ships for this operation. The submarine Zilu was a new tool that NATO wanted to try for the job. The results were encouraging. The submarine provided the most valuable contribution to the identification of pirates and the suppression of further pirate activities. You should reduce the speed and uh, uh, stop your engines completely. The crew of the submarine monitor the ocean 24 hours a day using radar and sonar. They are hidden under the water and completely stealthy. So the submarine can go right up to the pirate boats and hijacked ships to gather all necessary intelligence. This is then passed on to surface warships, which take action. A new experience and a real challenge for the sailors prepared for the mission. The submarine was also carefully chosen. Her technical advantages for the work were clear. The good thing of this submarine is that she's able to uh, operate for uh, a long period, up to uh, six weeks uh, submerged, uh, out of area uh, expeditionary. Uh, she's a very quiet submarine because she's uh, on electric propulsion. Before returning to base in Holland, the submarine made a port visit to Allied Joint Command in Lisbon. Her crew were thanked and decorated for their service. The Zulu has now gone back to the Netherlands. In spite of the mission's success, the Alliance has not said whether there will be a submarine present in the region in future. This is the NATO Channel reporting.